So Flux has been out for a while now and it's pretty good compared to what we had before. Now the only two main downsides to it is that it is quite slower than SD 1.5 and SDXL and it does take a lot of VRAM. So if you have something like 6 or 8 GB VRAM, you will run into issues if you just download the standard Flux. So in this video, I'm going to show you just two different methods to install Flux so that it works on 6 to 8 GB cards and all the workflows and links will be linked in the description below. So the first option you have is downloading the NF4 Flux model. So if you open up this link and scroll down to the Flux1 Dev BNB NF4 V2 and then just click open that link, you should go to a Hugging Face page and what you want to do is just download the file. And once the file is downloaded, you'll want to put it into the model folder where all your other models are. After you've done that, you'll want to drag in the workflow that I put in the description below and something like this should show up. If you do have anything missing or anything in red, just go into your manager and click on install missing custom notes. So now I'm just going to generate an image using the NF4 model. And this was the image that I was able to produce. And from here, you can see just how powerful Flux is and how good it is at creating images. Now, the biggest problem with the NF4 models is that you won't be able to use LoRa's with it. If you don't know what LoRa's are, just think of them as add-ons that you can use to make different styles of images. But if that's a problem, there is another method which allows you to use LoRa's inside your workflow. And this method is the GGUF method or the GUF method. And the way to install it is just to scroll down and download these three models. So the AE save pencils, the clip model and the T5XXL model and put them in the respective folders. After you've done that, what you want to do is actually download the actual Flux model itself. Personally, I recommend using the Flux Dev GGUF model. So what you want to do is just click on that link over here. And from here, you should be able to see different models that we can download. If you have something like 8GB VRAM, I would recommend sticking to the Q4 models. And if you have something lower than that, then you could try using the Q2 and Q3 models and see if that works for you. And after the models have been downloaded, you'd actually put them into the UNet folder inside your Conf UI. Once you've done that, you can download the workflow from the page you were on over here. If you want, I have a sort of modified workflow in the description below. And once you drag that in, you want to make sure that you've loaded all the correct models that we just downloaded. And now if you click Q prompt, you should be able to generate an image. And so this was the image I was able to generate using GUF. And the quality is very similar to the NF4 model that we were using. Now, the advantage of this model is that you can load Flux Loras in and use them. Whereas in the NF4 workflow, we couldn't. From my testing, I've also seen that the NF4 model is just ever so slightly faster than the GUF model. So if speed is something that's really important to you over using Lora files, then I'd recommend you use the NF4 model over the GUF model. So that's all for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.